some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Rockford, Illinois, with a soft tired Karen who was pulled over because, well, she didn't have her seatbelt on at the time. And of course, we have many of the famous soft tard lines, such as, I know the law. And of course, another good one that comes up in the video, that she's going to charge the police department $20 million for this traffic stop. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I turned on my video because the cops did a U-turn right behind me. So um, I was pulling up to a stoplight. I have no idea what's going on, except that they're after me. Yep, here he comes, probably. Yep, pulled in behind me. I'm doing 30 miles an hour, and yet that truck in front of me is not. Uh-huh. Let's see what the hell's going on here. And I'm pulling into a gas station. We'll see. My doors are locked. My service dog is with me. Let's hear that again. Well, it certainly sounds like you just now put your seatbelt on, but you know what? What do you guys think? And we will find out. As you see, I have a seatbelt on. It's fastened, so they can't say that that's what it was. There's the officer back there. Oh, now there's two cars. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, we're going to find out what's going on. I have driver's license, legal. Don't need it. And well, there you go. There's one of the signs that she's a sovereign citizen saying that she doesn't need a driver's license. But I got a question for you. If you don't need it, then why do you even have it? I guess we will find out later on why. Find out what's going on. Oh, that guy's driving off. Yep, we'll see. Hi, can I help? What's going on? State police pulled you over. You didn't have your seatbelt on back on. Yes, sir, I did, and I have video proof. I have not touched it at all. Okay, well, it was my, back. no, okay. sir, it was not okay. behind my okay, back at all. Um, DMV has it. Okay. DMV has it. It does come back to this truck because they just did it on Wednesday. Okay. I just purchased the damn truck. You have the title for it. Not yet. It's being bought, so I'll never get the title in the state of Illinois. The state keeps it. You know, I call bullshit on that, considering that I know here in the state of Florida you can get your title quite easily after your car is paid off. So I went and looked it up in Illinois, and I found this neat little thing where you can uh, request a duplicate title. So which suggests to me that... You are flat out uh, BSing everybody at this point. Because if they keep the title, then why the hell do they have a website where you can request a duplicate title? Yep, sure do. Sure do. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and your, your driver's license um, hold on, your name is what and your number is? 
No, no, sir. I'm in court. Driver's license and insurance. Super Monaco, what was the number, sir? 7125. I need your driver's license. That's your number? 7125. 6802. Nikito in Nitko? Yes, Well, you give me time here, sir. And I don't have to give them to you. I have to produce. I have to produce them for you, sir. I don't have to give them to you. I know the law. Yeah, you know the law, just like every other soft tart out there thinks they know the law. And this is being reported as harassment because you guys are purposely doing this. I don't, I yeah, you. You know what? Yeah, you did, because you did a U-turn. I sure did have my seatbelt on. My seatbelt was just like that. We sure the f*** will. We sure the f*** will go to court. You bet your fuck ass we're going to go to court. This is goddamn harassment. Here's U.S. Auto. I don't know what part of it, but it's part of the bill of sale shit. Uh, here's the fun road. Here's my insurance. Just a minute. Just a minute. I want to make sure that I get paperwork proving that this car is mine, whatever. Sorry, the video cut out. But the audio sure didn't. I got two cameras on you. Yeah, I do. Not that I need one. Because my citizen traveling. I'm not under the UCC, which is United oh, Commercial Code. That's Uniform Commercial Code, and the Uniform Commercial Code does not dictate anything about driving. It is a guide on how businesses are run. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know where you softards even get this, or I mean, I just don't understand why you don't bother even going out to read the damn thing if you think that's what it says. But I guess that's the whole problem. You don't actually read anything. You just accept other people's word for it, which gets you into trouble rather than doing your own research. You know what, sir? No, no, citizens do not have to. The law, supreme law says, and I've already gone to court over this before. You went to court, but did you actually win? Because I highly doubt that uh, any judge would have been on your side. Like I said, I just need the driver's license. I don't need any other paperwork. Fine. Paperwork just, just hold on. I'll present it. I'm not passing it through to you. Well, you do need to give it to me. No, sir. I need to present it to you right there. You still live on 12th Avenue? Sure the f*** do. All right, well, no need for that language. I'll be back up in I have the First Amendment constitutional right to freedom of speech. They have been out for me the last few days. So, yep, they have. They have been out for me the last few days, following them around and everything else. Oh, we got a Sovtard, Karen, and a persecution complex going on here. What a beautiful combination. What a perfect storm of lunacy. I mean, come on. I'm sure these cops have duties to perform. I mean, they just can't follow you around all day long. Look at that. Parking the car right in the driveway and in the entrance part of it, too. Yep. Trying to tell me I didn't have my seatbelt on. <laughs> I sure the f did. I sure the f did. <laughs> I've been making sure that I've been legal. Yep, something told me. Something told me. Yep.
And you make sure that you keep an eye for these some bitches. Been pulling up in the goddamn uh, parking lots and shit. I'm trying to say I didn't have a goddamn seatbelt on. It's a good thing this thing was rolling before I even got to stop. <laughs> Oh, that's an irritating, evil laugh you got right there. You need to work on it. I mean, if you're going to become a sob tart, you might as well go ahead and have one anyway. And we all heard that click. I do believe you had your seatbelt off when you were stopped to begin with. And besides, you are sob tart. Eventually, you're going to be 100% completely illegal when you have no driver's license, tag, registration, and all that stuff going on. So I can't wait to see that. I'm sure they're listening in on stuff, too. I just spoke to my attorney today about having the DOJ at the courthouse on Monday. And here they are pulling me over. Yep. Nice try, guys. I'll give you that. Kudos. I'll give you. You guys tried. I will give you. You guys tried. <laughs> but see, your laws apply to commercial vehicles. Oh, wrong, you loony tune. In fact, here is the, uh, Illinois statute concerning uh, license plates. It doesn't exactly say anything about commercial vehicles, now does it? And so that is just one example of your dumbassery right there. So let us continue on, please. You cannot force the citizen to into a contract with an agent, an insurance agent or anybody else. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Do, do you think it's going to get me to stay here longer? All, all this shit's getting dismissed. They're going to get dismissed right the fuck away. Oh, I'm smiling big time because y'all violated my rights again, man. There's already a $20 million lawsuit going to be happening against your asses. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this mofo has to say. Issue you a citation for not wearing your seatbelt, okay? Instruction you be locked. You be. Or, I'm informing you right now. Be in court. You too, so be in court. I'll do that. Because I. It's not required unless you want to plead not You know what? You can sit on it, rotate it, because you're lying. My you're a lying. My Where's my citation? Citations in the paper I gave you. Right oh, so I don't have to sign for it, huh? Okay. We'll see, so we'll see you in court. We'll see you in court. I'm not okay. guilty. As you see, seatbelt is on. Seatbelt is on. And latched. Seatbelt is on. That mofo thinks he's going to be able to get away with giving me an illegal fucking ticket. He got another thing coming. Because this witch, this bitch, this gold star mother ain't putting up with it no more. Nope. Those rules apply to people who are drivers. The average citizen has a right to travel. Those are UCC rules. And that's where the video ends, folks. My, 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 what a paranoid, delusional fantasy world she lives in. I mean, what the hell? And I'm sure in her little fantasy world, she's driving around with no tag, no license, and all that, and won her $20 million case, if she ever had one to begin with. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.